Yo, what's up everyone? In this video we're going to talk about skills, how to level them up, um, what they do, which one of them are the most important ones, and how to max them out. So which are the most important skills in the game? I think they are endurance, strength, perception, attention, assault rifles, and recoil control. Now let's talk about all the skills and uh, how to level them up. So first of all, endurance. You level up endurance while walking and running without being overweight. So if you look at your PMC and you see that weight is uh, yellow, it means he is overweight. And if it's not yellow or red, which is uh, super overweight, that means while you're walking or running, you're leveling up endurance. And vice versa works for strength. Whenever your PMC is overweight, even a tiny bit. It doesn't have to be super heavy, just a tiny bit. As soon as the... Um, the, the, the weight is uh, yellow, you start leveling up uh, strength while walking and running, but you can't level up strength and endurance at the same time, only one skill at a time. So Elite Endurance gives you uh, increased stamina by 75%, uh, increased hand endurance and decreases uh, jump stamina drain. Also says it affects your breathing time and breathing is independent of energy. No idea what that means, no idea how that works. Um, as I said earlier, you level up strength by running and walking while being overweight. With strength, you can jump higher, you can carry more weight. Uh, it increases your melee strike power, so um, if you can't one-tap people in the head with a hatchet or um, an RR pick pickaxe, with elite strength, it will be very easy to do. It also increases your movement and sprint speed by 20%, which is a really nice addition. Uh, you throw nades further. Aiming drains less stamina, and weapons, body armor, and chest rigs are now weightless. So if you look at my PMC, since I have maxed out strength, me taking the guns off, as well as armor and helmet, does not affect my weight. Only backpack, my rig, and I think my gamma. Yeah, those are the only, those are the only items which, well, and, and the pockets. Those are the only items, items which affect my weight. So while wearing all of this, I am literally weightless. I weight 0 kg. So vitality. You increase your level of vitality by uh, taking damage and losing blood. On elite level, it stops all the bleedings uh, by itself. So, um, and I think it doesn't work properly. On elite level, you simply can't get any bleedings. It's just impossible. You just won't get them. And generally, the higher the level, the less are the chances of you getting um, bleed. So even if you don't have maxed it out, Leveling it up is uh, pretty important and can sometimes save you a couple of seconds um, during which like you don't have to heal during the fight and you can you can just keep fighting. So how do you level up stress resistance? Um, you level up stress resistance by receiving damage, um, breaking lags, and you can't be under painkiller. And since I always pre painkill in the beginning of the raid, my stress resistance is very low. It's only level nine, um, and the buffs which stress resistance gives to you are. Um, Decreased chance of a pain shock. I guess it's uh, when you receive pain and uh, that blurs your screen. And it also decreases your um, hand shimmer. And on max level you get berserk mode, which um, I think I'll show you a video. It looks kind of funny and a bit laggy. Um, on max level, whenever you are very low HP, I think it's 150 or 250 or something, it gives you a painkiller effect for like 30 seconds. So even if your legs are blacked out and you have not used a painkiller, you can still keep running for a bit of time. Immunity decreases negative effects from different stims, water, and it reduces the uh, poison effects, as well as it prolongs your painkiller time. How do you raise immunity? You raise immunity when you eat something with uh, negative effects or you use a stimulant with a negative effect. And on max level immunity, you get um, a chance to have no negative effects from stimulants as well as have uh, total immunity to poisons. All right, intellect. I'm level 70. I play like seven, 10 hours every single day and I'm still at level zero. I guess my PMC is uh, as dumb as a table and I'm not sure if he can even read. Anyway, um, so charisma. It says that um, it decreases traders cash prices as well as increases loyalty rate. I don't think it's properly implemented in the game, so we can't really see huge effects of it. And you leveled up by leveling up your, uh, I think, search, attention, perception. Basically, whenever you find new items, like you open a box and there is a new item in there and you pick it up, 
uh, those two actions leveled up. First of all, finding the item, and secondly, picking it up. Now we're gonna talk a bit about guns. So pistols, SMGs, all of this works exactly the same. Whenever you hit somebody using a pistol, that increases your pistol level, and uh, that will lead to a increased reload speed, increases weapon switching speed, and decreased recoil. That applies to all type of different guns. Throwables. You level up throwables whenever you throw nades, just throwing a nade levels up, and uh, the higher your skill, the uh, less amount of stamina you need to use to throw uh, a grenade, and it also increases the throw strength, in other words, you can throw the nade feather. And on elite level of throwables, you will not lose any stamina while throwing nades. So in other words, you can keep spamming nades as much as you want, and it won't affect your stamina. When you level up MGLs, it increases your aiming speed, so when you ADS, and it also reduces your aiming sound. I'm not sure if it's implemented properly, I think the skill got implemented in the previous wipe, and I think you level it up while uh, killing PMCs and scavs while being ADSed. Uh, let me quickly correct myself, whenever you hit players or scavs, you don't have to kill them, just hit. That's how you level it up. Surgery skill, um, it increases your surgery um, speed, increases your uh, animation, and it decreases amount of HP lost after the surgery, and you level it up simply by performing surgery. And on elite level of surgery, you will lose uh, no, um, no HP on your restored limbs, so if your hand is like 40 out of 40, uh, and you fix it, it will still be 40 out of 40. And it also will increase your um, surgery animation by 40%. Search is a skill which you level up simply by searching things. You can search PMCs, uh, pockets, backpacks, um, scavs, rigs, uh, different boxes, crates, whatever. That's how you level up whenever you find an item in the box. And on next level, you can search two things at once, which means when you search a PMC or a scav, you can search his rig and his pockets at the same time, for example, or his pockets and his back backpack. You get it. All right, the, um, the last skill on the left side is crafting. Basically, it is related to your hideout. It decreases your time um, to craft things. And on next level, you literally can craft two things at the same time, which is a huge buff if you're using a hideout. And you simply level them by crafting different items. Let's talk about health. So you level up strength, sorry, you, le you level up health whenever you level up strength, um, vitality, and endurance. And the buff of health is, uh, it decreases the chance of you getting fractures, it decreases your energy consumption, and it decreases your hydration rate. And it also says that at elite level, um, you absorb more damage, but it's incorrect. On elite level, health doesn't give you any benefits so far. Metabolism, you level the skill while eating and drinking in raid, if your hydration and energy is not full. And on next level, there is zero chance of dehydrating and uh, exhausting. So in other words, you cannot die from this effect. So even if you're at zero hydration and energy, you will not die as long as you can uh, keep healing yourself. And on elite level, it also increases food and drink positive effects by 50%. So it restores more of your energy and more of your hydration, as well as it decreases the time of uh, ne negative effects of stems. Perception is a pretty important skill, which increases your hearing distance by 35%, and it's actually a huge, huge difference. Um, so try to get your perception maxed out, or at least on a high level. It also increases loot detection radius um, and loot proximity notification. And in other words, if, you, if there is something lying on the ground or on the table right next to you, uh, and you aren't even looking in that direction, there will be a small dot which will appear in the middle of your screen, and that indicates that there is a loot nearby. And you simply increase the skill by finding new things, same as with search, uh, and putting them into your inventory. So, find an item, level up, put it in your backpack, level up. One of my favorite skills is attention, and you level it up exactly the same as perception or search whenever you find items. Um, and the higher the level of your attention, the faster you're gonna search for things, opening different containers. And on max level, um, there is a 50% chance of insta find. so whenever you open a backpack, it doesn't matter how many items there are. For example, you kill a PMC and he has a backpack with like 50 items, you will click on it and you will instantly find all the items. That's how it works. So if you see some shimmers, including me, um, searching and cancelling, searching and cancelling, that's basically re-rolling that 50% chance to get an insta-search. Memory is a skill uh, which levels up with all the other skills, don't worry about that. 
Um, basically, before, skills were rolling back if you didn't have maxed out memory. So, for example, my charisma is level 30, and I wouldn't play the game. I would log in tomorrow, and instead of being at 53 points, it would drop back and be like at 45 or something. And if you get your memory maxed out, you will not um, you will not forget any skills. But not, right now, it's not implemented, so don't worry about that. Assault Rifles um, is a skill which increases the reload speed, increases weapon switching speed, reduces recoil, and on maxed uh, level, which is 51, you double your mastering gain. Um, and people are sometimes a bit uh, concerned about how recoil control and assault rifles work, because both of these skills decrease recoil control. Sorry, they, they, they increase recoil control and uh, decrease recoil. And assault rifles and all of the other guns, those skills, they decrease um, vertical recoil on your rifle. So the higher your assault rifle skill is, the less your gun is going to jump up. While recoil control skill actually decreases horizontal recoil. So the higher your recoil control skill is, the less your gun is going to jump left and right when you shoot. And recoil control, recoil control applies to all the guns, not just assault rifles. Troubleshooting is a skill related to your weapon's uh, malfunction and it increases the speed of troubleshooting. Basically, you fix your gun faster. And it says that on elite level, you reduce the chance of malfunctions based on the durability of the weapon, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it doesn't matter. Um, since next wipe, there will be a new system for malfunctions. The guns between, I think, 90 and 100% durability shouldn't jam at all unless you overheat your gun. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna rework this uh, the system. So let's wait and see what BG will introduce next wipe. Cover movement is a skill which levels up when you walk very slow and it decreases as you leveled up. It decreases your, it decreases the sound of your footsteps um, as well as it increases your movement speed. Noise is produced by weapons and equipment, a 10% quieter. So that's another buff. Mag drills is a skill which you can level up by loading or unloading mags in the raid and it increases your loading and unloading speed um, as well as uh, on level 10 you can actually tell how many bullets you have in your mag. So if you're at level 9 mag drills you check your mag it's gonna say uh, roughly half or nearly full but when you get to level 10 it will actually tell you an approximate uh, number of bullets left in your mag so it's gonna say roughly 25, roughly 20. Uh, roughly 15. Weapon maintenance, that's to do with fixing your guns. I don't really think it affects um, much at the moment. And last but not the least, hideout management. You level up the skill by crafting items in your hideout as well as upgrading your hideout, for example getting level 2, 3, 4 different aspects of it. And as you level it up, it increases all percentage bonuses from hideout zones and it decreases consumption of uh, the fuel which you're using in your hideout and on max level it gives you two additional slots for fuel canisters two additional slots for water filters two additional slots for air, fil air filters um, and it gives you plus two to the storage limit of coins in a bitcoin farm so yeah more or less we went through all of the skills i hope you enjoyed that and remember that right now whenever you level skills there is always a gap you can't get as many levels as you want per rate. And on most of the skills, you can get only like 3.5 points per rate. So whenever you level up your skills, uh, remember about that. You can always open that gap while being in rate. And there will be a either a bonus, which gives you additional points for leveling skill, or there will be a debuff, which will stop you from leveling skills. So if you want to follow that and um, check your skills leveling during the raid, feel free to. And yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, write in the comments down below what you think, which skills you want to level up, which skills you want to max out. And most importantly, have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye.